Hi, it's Mayor Walter Senzik, and we have council today. It's Monday, November 30th, the last day of the month. And it's really raining out there today, and looks like we're going to be heading into some flurries as we head on into the week. So take care of yourself out there. Winter is coming. We can't avoid it. Uh, but it is also an opportunity to get out and enjoy the fresh air, uh, experience St. Catharines in a different way, which is in the, the winter time. And at the same time, it helps you get outside, but being mindful of wearing your mask, making sure that we're washing your hands, and it's really during this time of year that physical distancing. We just gotta make sure we're staying in a very tight bubble as we continue to do our, our work and our efforts to keep COVID-19, and we're doing an amazing job. The numbers are slowly going down. Here in Niagara, we wanna stay in that orange category. It's really important if we can get into yellow or even green before Christmas, that would be amazing. So keep up the great work. I just want to start by saying congratulations to Sonia Aviles, and she is with Chatelaine. She was featured in Chatelaine Magazine as one of 2020's Women of the Year, and she is from Niagara. She's working in the Niagara area, and she's work does tireless work for the migrant farmer workers here in our region and she does it in working with the migrant workers alliance for change and so congratulations sonia very proud of all the work you're doing as well as the important work that you're doing representing those who are the migrant workers in our community who are doing a great job in terms of working with our farmers as well i just want to say congratulations to lex and susan parker from from lex parker design they are an amazing team here in our community uh, they've been around for 45 years 45 years had an opportunity to go visit them at their new location uh, in the bunting road area and again so many different buildings that you have seen in our community the interior design was uh, done by lex parker uh, a great team here and they've got a growing a continued growing business with a lot of young people working with them as well also to Sewell Moda here in downtown St. Catharines, 45 King Street. Uh, Lewis is, has a great clothing store, men's and women's. It's just by Market Square. So if you're coming down to the market, just go around the corner, check it out. If you're looking for some great gift idea, it's amazing fashion from very international fashion that is now in our downtown. So Sewell Moda, you wanna check them out on, on King Street, just across from the, the former Core Block building. As well as downtown, I had an opportunity to stop into Moonbase. And again, it's a content creative company. It's located here in the, the heart of our city. And they are full complement of digital marketing and product management services for a wide range of clients that are really global in scale. Uh, Nico and, and Valid are doing an amazing job. They've got a, a growing workforce. And it's just another example of how new young businesses are coming into our community. They're growing their business, even during the, the pandemic, they're growing their business. So to Moonbase, thank you for calling your home base here in downtown St. Catharines. We've got a couple of uh, upcoming events. The Mega Rotary TV Auction, which is huge, December 3rd to the 5th. As a, as a Rotarian, I'm proud of the TV auction. It raises so, so much money for our community through the, the, the gifting of Rotary. In addition to that, it also supports a lot of local businesses. So check out their online. It's megarotaryauction.ca. You can do a, a pre-check on the items that are going to be coming available for the, for the TV auction. And you do not want to miss it. It's going to be on your TV, Niagara, December 3rd to the 5th. Great gift ideas, and it's a great way to give back, not just to Rotary, but to our community as well. So hopefully you see you on there. Uh, as well, we have the, the Mitten Tree Museum, the Mitten Tree at the museum. Uh, again, we're looking for gently used uh, uh, toques and gloves, uh, things that they can put on the tree, and then they will be donated to Community Care St. Catharines and Thorold, as well as Start Me Up Niagara's Out of the Cold program. So if you get an opportunity, uh, easy no contact donation, just visit the museum, decorate the tree with the, the winter wear during operating hours, as well as uh, you can just check them out on the website. Check out the museum's website for more information. We also have winter in the market because it is winter coming. And they've been there for Thursday nights for the last little while from 3 to 7 p.m. It's local artisans who have an opportunity who didn't get to all the crafts that we had, all the different markets that we've had that we traditionally have during the fall. 
And so this is our opportunity to get the local artisans, get their works on display, and you can get some great gift ideas. Just come on down to the market. There's parking, it's great. Uh, you'll have a very safe experience there as well. Also, our Civic Christmas concert is going to be airing on Coach Coach, usually done on the first Tuesday of December, but because this year, under the public health restrictions, we did a virtual taping of the performances. So you're going to hear soloists, you're going to hear uh, members of the Niagara Symphony, the Brass Ensemble. We have guest speaker Dr. Giesbrick from uh, Niagara Health, the oncology department there, from the Walker, Cancer, Walker Family Cancer Center. Uh, David Sisler, who everybody knows, an amazing te former teacher from, from Laura Secord, who has inspired uh, so many students to, to follow their passion of music. Uh, Peter Partridge Jr. is the MC. So, and we have some special guests, and we have Tim Hicks is performing as well. So that's going to air throughout December. Uh, the first airing is coming up, and check out your TV Niagara if you've got Kojiko. I also want to thank our, our Reverend Bothwell from St. Thomas Church for opening up the door. So bringing the spirit of Christmas to you in the comfort of your house. As well, I want to say Happy Hanukkah to our Jewish community that kicks off on December 10th. And it's a wishing you the best and for the Festival of Light gives you the opportunity to renew your sense of faith. Again, wonderful celebration and I know we're all going to do it in very safe ways, but we want to wish everybody the Happy Hanukkah. Our great holiday food drive is coming up on December 11th and that's in support of community care here in St. Catharines Thorold. This year we, we've do, we're, again, we're doing things differently with 610 CKTB and, and the, the, Bell, the, the, the Bell network of stations here in Niagara. And you have the Express making its rounds throughout. So there's going to be a bus that's going to be making its rounds to be collecting foods from different pickup points in the city. Um, you're going to be able to see that information for a full schedule is coming out soon. Check out the uh, Community Care St. Catharines Thorold website for all the information. You can also make a donation. It's easy. You can just text uh, 20, so 2222 and to make a donation of 10 or $25. It's an important part of the year, folks. Uh, this is one of their biggest fundraisers for Community Care St. Catharines Thorold. So let's make sure that holidays and, the, and the, the spirit of the season is going to be in as many homes as possible. So give as much as you can give and find different and unique, unique ways to do it. So I just want to say thank you to Betty Lou Suter and her team for organizing that and also to the Bell, the Bell team in our community, 610, 105.7 uh, Easy Rock and um, the uh, 977 Hits FM, the family of, of stations that will be involved. And as well, I just want to say um, for our community, continue to shop local as much as you can. What we're seeing here in, our, in St. Catharines is that the impact that this is having on our local retailers, so gift certificates for restaurants are a great idea. Our local retailers are small retailers, the ones that you know, really have those unique items. Uh, anywhere in our city, there's wonderful little stores that have unique items. So let's, let's support them as much as possible to ensure that our economy continues to be sustainable as we come out of COVID-19. Uh, and the, the, the light is there. We're starting to hear more about vaccines. Our, our government federally is getting prepared for the rollout of the vaccines. And I know our public health here in Niagara is working hard at a vaccine uh, program as well, making sure that they will be as part of this rollout. Uh, so the light is coming to the end of the tunnel of this pandemic. But the reality is we still have some work to do. So keep doing what you're doing. You've done an amazing job. Our community is safer because of your efforts and it is greatly appreciated. So take care of yourself.